Meter Criteria Gravo Paleomedica. Let me repeat those words for you for, for a moment. You'll, they'll become clear at the end. Candida Criteria Grave Paleo Medica. By now, many of the students have already figured out my propensity and fondness for both Latin and parables. So, my words will be brief, but I've taken the liberty of modifying an ancient parable and making it uh, unique to modern times, so, because I feel it's appropriate to this occasion. A medical student was standing on his first day of clinical rotations next to the resident and once asked the resident why the white coat was longer for the resident and the attending's coat was longer still. The reply came from the resident to add weight. The resident continued, for you see today I walk into the family room, in the family waiting room, and have to explain to the parents that their son was gone. So in this left pocket is empathy, and I must carry a great deal of it. Later this morning, I was asked to try and decipher a diagnosis that no one else had yet to figure out. The patient was suffering, and it was incumbent upon me to try and find the source and the cause, and to try and find a way to treat it. So I keep knowledge in the right pocket, and I must carry a great deal of it. The attending has an even heavier cloak, the resident replied, for he carries what I carry, but also carries the weight of responsibility, both to the patient and to us. And he carries the burden of education and stewardship, as well as the weight of compassion. His pockets are very deep, and his cloak is very heavy. The coat is white because it comes from the Latin candidus, which means white or purity as it represents candor, or candor, or truth. The resident continued, do not fret about the size and weight of your cloak, for it will become heavy and long enough with time. But you will notice that your cloak starts out white, just as ours, because trust, honesty, and integrity must run through every thread, and must be part of everything you do as a physician, be you an attending, a resident or a student. With the College of Osteopathic Medicine class of 2017, please stand.
importance of support from your family and friends, many of which are in the audience today, and many of which have been pretty vocal in supporting you as you walked across the stage. Secondly, you heard from Dean Yoko, who reminded us that professionalism, you know it, you know it when you see it, and you know it when you don't. And finally, from Dean Pope, the parable of the heavy white coat and the reason for the two deep pockets, one for knowledge and one for empathy. I encourage you to remember those words that you've heard today and recall them as you face the challenges that you certainly will in your academic life and as you enter professional practice. You may be seated. From this day forward, they have committed to developing the ethical principles that will guide them through their academic and professional life. They will respect and value fellow health professionals as an interprofessional team member. They will be accountable and accept responsibility for their actions as a student and practicing professional. They will promote an inclusive culture in healthcare and strive to treat each patient with understanding, acceptance, and respect. And they will behave honorably throughout their healthcare careers, always striving to be worthy of the privilege of serving in their chosen healthcare field. Students, will you please stand to be recognized by faculty, family, and friends who are here to support you today. Thank you.